Black Wall Street family, we'd like to introduce you to Miss Frances Fleming. We're here at the Greenwood Cultural Center, and Miss Fleming works here. She has a phenomenal story. She knows the history, and we're going to hand off to Miss Fleming. So, tell me your story. You said you got here when you were I nine. I came to Tulsa when I was nine years old in the fourth grade, mm -hmm. and I live at the Williams Hotel, wow. which is was where the Oklahoma Eagle is now. Okay. And uh, it was so many different businesses. We had the funeral home, which was across the street from uh, Williams Hotel. We had Clarence Love Lounge, mm -hmm. which it was on me. And what fascinated me about Clarence Love's Lounge at that time, they had a snake in the showcase and I never forgot that and one of my encounters also was the Greenland I'm sorry Williams drugstore okay my mother told me that she was going to take me there to get a highball <laughs> and I thought it was going to be a nice drink mm -hmm. when I got there it was a Castro highball <laughs> and I didn't like William's drugstore anymore after that. <laughs> and I was telling that, uh, you know, we had a lot of businesses, beauty shops. Uh, we had uh, in, uh, your cab, okay. which is, uh, was over where the freeway is now. Okay. We had uh, prescription shops, uh, church, and... Uh, we had the Dreamland Theater, and we had Cannon's uh, Drugstore, where uh -huh. that's where I got all of my little uh, black dolls. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, at that time, uh, after I got older, then I was told I couldn't come down on deep Greenwood. But we always came down anyway. There were so many festivities going on during Halloween and yeah. everything. But it was just a wonderful place to be. Wow, that's awesome. And so, I understand you went to several schools. All um, your all your schooling was right here. Right in here Tulsa. in Tulsa. At uh, Dunbar Elementary, Carver Mill School, and then Booker T. Washington High School and during that time, it was all black. Yes. Uh, in 1955, I think, is when they integrated. Uh -huh. A lot of our classmates that lived in uh, Buford Colony and everything, they all had to go to Webster. They okay. couldn't come. They were bused here in Tulsa, mm -hmm. and then they had to go to school in Webster, and that kind of broke us up. Okay. But after we all graduated, came back together. Mm -hmm. uh, we always have our reunions and we include everybody that always went to school with us. And That's it, wonderful. It was a wonderful time, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we knew everybody, the upperclassmen, the lower classmen in school, and we were just a close-knit right. group. Right. And we remember all the chili parlors and everything down here uh -huh. and in fact uh, my husband's aunt called her Lurley she had a little rooming house you know uh, and a young man named Floyd okay. was here for a family reunion and he was talking about his dad on the chili parlor and they thought their name was Floyd oh okay <laughs> but and, you know we had Bulware just so many, yeah. you know, yeah. and uh, <laughs> after when we were in high school, I remember uh, my girlfriends and I, we walked from downtown because we wanted to buy a record at yeah. the record shop. Right. We don't even have record shops yeah. here anymore, you yeah. know. Yeah. And it was just a good time. Yeah. You know? So what does it feel like with all of that? Gone. Say it. Mm -hmm. 
but you know it's progress mm -hmm. but dismiss it you know yeah. yeah it was part of us and to see one of the things I want the Greenwood Culture Center to stay here yes because this is a part of us yes yes so. yeah and now you're here volunteering yeah well, That's I actually wonderful. work, but well, I mean, you're working. I yeah. put in a lot of volunteer hours, but it's been wonderful. Yeah, I it gets me up in the morning. I meet people. Yes, I, I love to talk. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so, a that's a plus if you're gonna be here. Yeah, if I'm gonna be here, so I hope to be here many more years. Yes, so. yes. And so you are a retired school teacher? No. I retired from public service company, it's an electric company oh, here in Tulsa, okay, okay. 32 years, and I've been here at the center since 2000. Wow, that's pretty awesome. So, so it's wonderful. Yes. Well, I guess we know who can show us everywhere, every little nook and cranny oh, in the yes. town, so we're going to have to come and get you and go on a tour. <laughs> okay. Well, it was... I'm telling you, it was a fun place to be. Yeah. It yeah. really was. Yeah. So. Well, it's it's awesome to be here. We thank you so much for your time. Well, you're quite welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Black Wall Street family, we are saying peace out. <laughs>